All eyes on one man in fantastic form and the top scorer in the league. Can he add to his tally today, live on EA TV? It is a German city rich in football tradition. We're in Gelsenkirchen. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. Stuart, how do you see this one going? Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And here's the starting 11 for Schalke. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. We're entitled to expect attacking moments aplenty as Schalke begin the proceedings. Naby Keita. Alvi Jan. Tete. Here's Oxlade-Chamberlain. Oxlade-Chamberlain. Delightful start to this match. Just what they were hoping for. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. <laughs> Nicolas Hoefner. Jong. Oh, potential danger. Great block. Ritsu Doan. Oh, breezing past him. Takes the shot. Fine goalkeeping to push that away. Not a great pass. Lukas Kubler. Nicolas Hofner. Good movement. Is it going to be? And a goal! Real excitement here. The equaliser. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Back underway, level pegging. One goal apiece in this game. Yeah, 
Lucas. Chance to cross. Nicolas Dominguez. And the attack looks promising. Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post cover for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. A decisive clearance it was. Lucas Moura. And will it be the leveller? What a big chance that was. Keeper has the ball. Dominguez. On to Hernandez. Oh, that pass easy on the eye. Such an important goalkeeping intervention under pressure. And he prevented it from going over the line. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. save opportunity well he really wants his brace well he looks so bright today his movement has been excellent well can they draw level here the crowd certainly think so over it comes outrageously good piece of defending on the line corner again the best clearance Alvi Jan crossed into the penalty area danger averted for now and the referee blows the whistle thus bringing to an end the first half here in Gelsenkirchen Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Martinez. Real chance. And it's in. All square again. What a match this is turning out to be. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. But there's still plenty for him to do. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with a plum. It's a great goal. So underway again at 2 all. <laughs> Nicolas Hoefner. Jong. They do pass the ball with authority. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Time for a change then. All the way through to the keeper then. So it's going to be a goal kick here. And given away by Schalke. And that is going to be a free kick.
This might be ideal for the counter. Can they take advantage of the situation? Looked like an effective counter-attack, but brilliantly read. Ritsu Doan. A chance to whip it in. A fine use of the ball. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say, it was on the cards. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? All hands on deck. Can they square the game? Well, that was easy on the eye, and he didn't miss by much. Well, that's how to counter-attack. They did it with such pace, just couldn't finish it off. Well, there's still a bit of time left. Can this inspire them to go and get the equaliser? Favouring the short one. And cuts inside. Takes the shot. Oh, it's in! And that might be the goal that clinches it for them. No looking back now, surely. Well, just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. So the current scoreline, 4-2. It needs an accurate cross. Opportunity. He's blocked it. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. Well, you can be a great attacking team, as we talked about. But if you don't defend with a tactical understanding or work hard enough to close the opposition down, you'll get performances like we've just seen. Today, they simply weren't good enough without the ball. Hello, and it's a great privilege to be Auf Schalke, as the locals tend to say. We're here in Germany's industrial heartland in the great city of Gelsenkirchen. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you live action from the Bundesliga in a matter of moments. It's Schalke up against Hoffenheim. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And here's the starting 11 for Schalke. A look at the initial 11 for Hoffenheim. Well, it's a defensive lineup, that's for sure. But their wing backs and at least one of their midfield players will need to break forward when they regain possession, just to give them a threat going forward. Entitled to expect attacking moments are plenty as Schalke begin the proceedings. Alex Garcia. Martinez. And now with Angelino. 
long way out. Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to stop it. Short corner favoured. Well, let's see about the cross. But a crucial intervention inside the box. Can he do it? A really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? Well, as we look at the table, the opportunity very much there for the hosts to go top if they can win. Well, they've certainly had a great start to the season and they've played some really good football. Hopefully we get more of the same today. Well, they couldn't worry the keeper with that effort. Rudy. Christoph Baumgartner. Nice-looking pass. Oh, super piece of play. Joel Linton, a very timely interception. Oxlade Chamberlain, Lucas with it. The tackle completely missed time, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Slade Chamberlain Lucas and with that the referee blows the whistle that is going to be all for the first half here in Gelsenkirchen well he's got a few things right in this first half but not everything Yes, there's certainly room for improvement. He struggled to have any real impact on the game. He hasn't gotten the ball enough, and when he has, he's given it away cheaply. But I'm sure we'll see a marked improvement in the second half. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Well, that shouldn't really happen from a throw-in. Tete, Garcia, can he do it? Well, he opted for power from close range. He might be regretting that now. Now the big Bundesliga match for you to look forward to here on EA TV. It's Schalke facing Werder Bremen. Well, the fixtures are coming thick and fast. It should be a good game, that. Hopefully, I've not just given it the commentator's curse. Oh, they could be in here, Stuart. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. Oh, and winning it back. I must say, this looks promising. Oxley chamberlain Wonderful chance. Oh, blocked it. Who's going to get on the end of it? Oh, a really good header. But the goalkeeper there is a cover-up. Oh, another corner, hot on the heels of the last one. Not away completely. Soon Chu. Determined defending. But a lot to look forward to on the live action front here on EA TV. And we have more live Bundesliga action for you. It's Hoffenheim facing Bayern. Rodriguez. Martinez. Oh, fine stop. Kadozabek. Out of play for what will be a Hoffenheim throw-in. Joel Linton. Still pushing for a winner. He 
could pick out a teammate. Will it happen for him here? It should be. Oh, a goal! And is that going to be the one that wins it for them? There's every chance, and the fans are lapping this up. Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. they have it in them to level this must be oh he's missed but by a minuscule margin well he couldn't have made better contact than that his technique is brilliant he's so unlucky there defended well and it crossed the touchline so a throw in here teammates to play it to he must finish not out of the woods yet well good defending and there it is the final whistle not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today defeat for them yes Derek there was very little in it for much of the game I'm sure they feel they deserve a point at least and it's obviously disappointed to concede in that manner so late on but they just have to bounce back now well, a mighty role played by Andrei Kramaric. Sensational performance from him on all levels. Stuart, what did you make of his production in this game? Well, he was excellent today, and he gave them that all-important lead. They just struggled to cope with him. His movement was so clever. Hello everyone, for our action today, we've come to the Vaughan Invest Weser Stadion on the River Island here in Bremen. My name is Derek Ray and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It's Werder Bremen up against Schalke. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully, we're not disappointed. And here's the initial 11 for Werder Bremen. Well, on paper, it looks a fairly cautious approach because unless their wing-backs can get into more advanced areas, I'm not sure where the attacking width will come from. And here's the starting 11 for Schalke. They kick off here. Tete. Garcia. Here's Keita. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Well, they really read that brilliantly. Well, nothing comes of it. Unable to keep the ball that time. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Under pressure, doesn't seem to be bothering him. And possession given away. 
Well, here's the table, and Bayern fans are always very demanding, but they're entitled to be more than a bit disappointed. It just hasn't happened. Well, what a poor season they're having. I really thought they would be challenging for the title. There just seems to be something wrong with the attitude of the players at the moment, and that needs to change quickly. Can they create something from here? Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, as you can see, his form in front of goal has been superb. He just has that knack of finding space in the box. And then, of course, he's a brilliant finisher. I'm sure he'll show us that again today. Oh, they might score here, Stuart. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Well, they might be piling on the pressure, but they've got to make it count in those situations, that's for sure. And just hearing a goal has gone in in the Eintracht Frankfurt game. Let's hear all about it from Alex Scott. It's a goal for Union. It's now 1-0 with 26 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. And he's lost custody of the ball here. And there is the opening goal. Well, arguably against the run of play. They've been second best up to this point, but they have the lead. Well, here's the replay, and he's got to clear his lines there. He doesn't do that. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. Poor defending. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Marvin Dux. Evie. Right, I think we'd better send it over to Alex because I understand there's been a goal at the pre-zero arena. It's a goal for Bayern Munich. They've scored the opener here with 33 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Bittencourt. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Well, Schalke haven't seen enough of the ball, as those stats will tell us. But their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. More defending for them to do here, though. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. Well, nothing he could really do based on the cross. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Opportunity here. And a decent save. Full credit. And no more time left. That concludes the first half here by the banks of the Vesa. Well, Josef Martinez did catch the eye in that first half. What did you make of his contribution? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a... Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. And room now out on the wing. trailing but plenty of time left and a corner coming up trying to deliver it accurately well the keeper performing brilliantly well it looked so threatening but the danger averted let's send it over to Alex Scott now because Alex I believe there's been a goal at the pre-zero arena Martinez it's gone in well they're really in the mood here can they be stopped Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Oh, 
So underway again, and a 2 0 advantage here. Well, we're sorry for interrupting you just then, Alex. Just to confirm, Hoffenheim have scored in that match, and the match is level at 1 1. Stage. Christian Groß. Divi. And it's in! This game very much back on as a contest! Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. Well, 2-1 it is here. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Promising attack, this. Visor. And a no-nonsense clearance. Just getting word that something important has happened in the Hoffenheim game, so let's hear all about it from Alex Scott. And he's through here. And the ball is loose. In it goes! At the second time of asking, and the keeper feels hung out to dry. Well, when you see this again, I think the goalkeeper's very unlucky. He makes a good initial save, but the ball comes off of him, rebounds straight to the attacker, and the finish is excellent. Now the action continues, and no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. Oxlade-Chamberlain. Can they convert? And it goes! Well, it's one goal after another. A highly impressive performance. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. But there's still plenty for him to do. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with a plum. It's a great goal. Goals and plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. Well, for understandable reasons in this case, we had to cut off Alex. To clarify, Bayern have scored in that match, and they're winning in that game at the moment by two goals to one. Evie, not what he was intending, bad pass. Just 15 minutes remaining. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. A glut of goals. 5-1 it is. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. And fine goalkeeping. And there it is, the full-time whistle here, and it's a victory for the visitors. 
Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening, and they played really well. What a performance that was today. A very productive day at the office for Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display.